Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into your weekly dose of WTFX. Guys, it's this Twitter account I found. It's just random crazy facts. I thought I'd screenshot some of them and react to them. Uh, taking a look at this first one. Ancient Egyptians wore gold sandals with toe caps to match. That's very stylistic there. Men are biologically hardwired to fall asleep after sex. You know, it's funny. I used to, every time I'd come home when I was in high school, every time I'd come home from high school, I would immediately masturbate. And then I would be so tired. Like, I would be more tired than if I'd stay up till 3 or 4 a.m. Like, I would just, just right after coming home from school, masturbating, I'd be so tired. And I was, I always thought... There's got to be some sort of science to this, and there is. You know, you are tired after ejaculating. That hormone, that hormone release makes men very, very tired. Genghis Khan killed so many people that the earth began to cool. 40 million people were wiped off the planet. Vast areas of farmland were reclaimed by forests and carbon levels dropped significantly. I'm sure everyone knows the whole idea how, you know, Genghis Khan changed the carbon footprint by the sheer amount of people he killed, which changed, which in turn changed the landscape of different parts of the world, different you know places in China, made them. For, it's just it, it's it's a it's a mind numbing idea that you could kill so many people that it changes the entire landscape and geography of different places within China. It's it's crazy. Once every six months, this man in South Dakota climbs this communication tower to change the light bulb. He's paid 20k per climb. That's a steep climb, but man, let's be honest. Most of us are desperate. I wonder how long that takes him. That's got to be a multiple hour process, but most of our, us are desperate. In one day, you're making 20k? That's a side job, too. That w Once every six months. So a year, you're making 40k. Off of two days of work. Now, obviously, you can't be afraid of heights and do this job. Look at that photo. Jesus Christ. You can't be afraid of heights and do this job, but that is, that's definitely a nice little side gig there. People who swear a lot tend to be more honest. I 100% agree with this. Uh, what swearing does is it really adds emphasis to what you're trying to say. And most people that swear, they're in a very passionate, emotional state. And when you're more emotional, you tend to be more honest. So, you know, if you, you know, again, if you have something you want to put power behind what you're saying, you're going to swear. You're going to say the F word. That's really what swearing is. It puts more power behind your words uh, than those people who don't swear. So that does make sense to me. In the Netherlands, workers can be absent for up to two years while receiving 70% of their salary as sick pay. Now, I'm sure there's stipulations. You can't just start working and then start taking days off and receiving pay. But this fact is... It got me wondering how many people are really manipulating different systems across the world. I mean, there are crazy... You know, we live in America. We really don't think about it. There's places in... Um, it, there's places in other parts of Europe that don't have jails, right? People who are convicted murderers, they literally live in these like dorm rooms. Like I've seen things like that where they l do not believe in jails. So you could murder 10 people and you're living in this dorm room getting education. It's so weird. It's some of the worker benefits they have in some of these other countries are absurd. We wouldn't even think about it in America. It's the clearest image of Earth ever taken. NASA, I guess this image was taken in 2012. That apparently is the cleanest Ultra HD image of the Earth. I thought that was interesting. This is a map of all reported UFO sightings from 1906 to 2014. So a little over 100 years. <laughs> Most of them in the United States or in, it uh, looks like, the UK. Uh, yeah, I think that has to do with, like, you have to report the UFO sightings to a specific base, and most of the bases are in the US. I know people will say, well, that's because people in the US are crazy, and they see a plane, and they think it's a UFO. Some people, unfortunately, are like that, and it does discredit other people who supposedly actually see unidentified objects, but that's funny. <laughs> you just look at like, look at Africa. I don't even think, literally, you could literally see a UFO in the middle of Africa, and I don't even think you could report it. Like, how would you report it? Most of those countries in Africa don't even have technology. Koalas spend over 90% of their lives sleeping. It's just such a fascinating life, isn't it? I mean, think about it. You, you go to bed at, you know, 10 o'clock at night. You wake up at 8 a.m. 
You go back to bed at nine o'clock in the morning. You wake up at 2 p.m. You go back to, you're, you're like two hours of your day, you're spent awake. It's crazy. That's just a crazy life to live. It really is. Sunsets on Mars are blue. I actually think that's, they were saying that's in the Arizona desert. I thought that was actually on Mars. I was like, my God, we finally get a sweet pick on Mars. Guys, am I the only one who thinks every time they show pictures of Mars on the surface, it looks like a, it looks like an, an Arizona desert. It's just like a, and maybe that's what Mars is, but it's just, I always get amped up for these pictures of Mars and then I'm always left disappointed. I always, like, I've never seen a picture of Mars on Mars where there's a rover on Mars and it's taking a photo at the horizon and I'm like, oh my God, that's so amazing. It just looks like a crappy desert. Let's be honest. And then I see this, I'm like, that's so sweet. But apparently it's in, they were saying in the comments that it's in some Arizona desert. But apparently it is true that Mars sunsets are blue. That's really cool. In 2020, this human-sized bat was found in someone's yard in the Philippines. Um, you take a look at this thing. Oh my God. That thing, that looks like the, the Jeepers Creepers thing. You know those movies? That thing is disgusting looking. It really is. The bigger the insects get, even you talk about something like a mosquito. Imagine a mosquito like this big. It took 200,000 years for the human population to reach 1 billion and then only 200 years for it to reach 7 billion. That is the definition of exponential growth. This is how growth goes, guys. With human population, with money, with everything. That's And here we are, yep. This is how it goes. It piles up. It's just like going from a million dollars to two million dollars is so much easier than going from a thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars because you have so much more capital to work with, right? Going from, you know, a population of zero to one billion is so much harder than going from one billion to seven billion because there's just so many more people when you have one billion, one billion people on earth, they can repopulate. There's so many different ways from when you're starting from scratch and you just see that growth. You guys understand exponential growth. That is it right there. In 2016, a man left his glasses at an art museum. Within hours, observers gathered and began taking photos, thinking it was art. <laughs> the, 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 I've seen this before. The dude is literally down, crouched, taking photos of these glasses. I still don't understand stuff like this. I really try and get it. I really do. But some of these things that are art, it's glasses on the floor. I just don't. Like, it's almost so stupid. Like, like I, I'm sorry. It's impossible for me to understand how, like, the, you know, you see glasses on the floor. Okay, it's glasses on the floor. It's not art. But these people, they're at one of these art things where they literally slop a, you know, bunch of paint on a sheet and say it's art. I don't understand it, guys. I really don't get it. This is a photograph, not a painting, in Africa. I could see, like, it, it looks like a swamp, but there's no way that sky is real. There's no way. They're saying this is a real photo. Like, it look, no, th that's not a swamp. That's, that's sand. Yeah, it's in an African desert. My bad. So, it's in an African desert. The landscape, the ground looks real. The trees look real. The sky does not look real at all. If that was somehow real and someone saw that, that's an out-of-body experience. That's crazy. Access to electricity in Africa. Africa's such an interesting, interesting continent. It really is. Um, South Africa, I'm surprised South Africa was only 94%, but look at the middle of Africa, 3%, 1% Congo. That's the, where the Congo is. The longest road in the world to walk is from South Africa to Russia. It takes almost 5,000 hours to travel along the route. You pass through 17 countries and six time zones and every season. Imagine vlogging that. Oh my goodness. I, I was just thinking about doing, that's funny, dude. Imagine if someone actually vlogged walking that far. Apparently it all connects at least by land. Like you don't have to go, go across any water. 919 men in a single day. That's the record for most sexual partners in a day held by Lisa Sparks who had sex with 919 different men in less than 24 hours back in 2004. I mean, what? It, there's got to be some serious damage to her vagina. Are you just sticking sticking it in one, taking it out, sticking it in another, taking it out? Like, what's going Is it like just a... I, I don't, uh. In 2019, a Jamaican man turned up to collect his winning 
$1.5 million lottery check wearing a scream mask. Yeah, that's actually pretty smart because what will end up happening, now I don't play the lottery, I don't care about it, but there are people who are addicted to it. You play the lottery, you win. Um, you know, you've got friends, you've got family who are like, well, do you really deserve deserve that money? You won it, you know, from the lottery. You won it via luck. You should give me some of that money. Uh, keeping your identity unknown, really, for family members. You know, the general public, who cares if they know you, if you win the lottery, it's whatever. Um, they'll forget about it the next day. No one cares about lottery winners. But like family members and friends, they're going to start, you know, guilt tripping you to try and get that money because, you know, it's the lottery. Did You, you didn't earn that money. You got lucky. Um, and, and so that's actually a really smart thing to do if you ever win the lottery to do that. This is Dubai. This just shows you how crazy Dubai is. It really is a manufactured city. City, uh, The Toyota building, you take a look at the comparison, 1985 versus 2016. What, 31 years is that? I know how to do math, guys. That's 31 years. It's such a manufactured city. Dubai, it's crazy. Dubai is so hot, too. What is it, like 114 degrees in the summer there? Men who do chores around the house, such as cooking, washing, and cleaning, get less sex, according to a study done by the University of Washington. That seems like a tough study to conduct, but I'm guessing the women look at men and they see them more as feminine, so they don't want to, you know, have sex with them. That's what I'm guessing it is. It seems like a very hard study to gauge. Uh, but if I were to guess, it would, you know, you see men cleaning, whatever. It's more of a feminine act. So the women are not sexually aroused by it. You know, uh, that, that's my uh, guess on that. Men tend to overestimate women's interest in them while women tend to underestimate men's interest in them. That makes sense. Absolutely. A map of every pub in the UK. Uh, that's just funny. I mean, there's just like 40 million of them. It's funny to see. Guys, that is going to do it for the first rendition of your weekly dose of WTF facts. Facts that are just crazy, random stuff that I find on Twitter. Guys, that's going to do it. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.